welcome back uh, to the channel guys so I, I got another body to paint <laughs> what else is new it seems that's what I I do a lot of what I have here is another BMW yes another BMW um, again this one is not mine because that's another reason why I have so many bodies to paint <laughs> uh, so this is for this is my friend uh, Brian it's his car or his body and oh there's his name right there and that's what it is so it's an rc arlo's af e46 m3 so i have never oh that's his receipt from when he from him buying it <laughs> um yeah so i don't believe i've yeah i've done i think i have done an e40 no i haven't done a i haven't painted an e46 yet um but this one from rc arlo's is, is very it's very nice i like how it looks Looks like the cut line. Yeah, looks like the body line I have to cut is right here. All the way. The lights is that's cool. Yeah, I really like how just admiring the body. That's it's a wide boy, right? That's a wide one. Looks to be pretty good at the front too though. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it looks like it's even, even with front to back. This is nice. I kind of, I like this. <laughs> Detail is, uh, as always, from RC Arlo's. It's, it's on point. As I do have my Supra, the blue one. That one's in RC Arlo's. And I have another one now, as I got for, as a gift <laughs> from another friend. That's, uh, so I'm going to be painting that one in the near future. Still deciding on delivery. Uh, but back to this guy before I start cutting it what comes in the bag as you can see um, I guess this is just the masking Let's see if I can open this with one arm one. yeah this is the masking I don't know if you guys can see the lines there yeah just there barely there what's this no oh, I don't know what that is well, I'm not sure what that is but yeah but that's the masking and then it looks like these are all the light buckets. Oh, I thought it was taped, but I guess not. Oh. All right, there we go. So this is the front bumper with the lights. This is oh, this is different. Um, huh? Trying to figure that out. <laughs> That's uh, as you can see, there's the front. So I know I, I know that the line is here that I have to get rid of this because obviously this would go there. But then they give you all of this, as you can see, which I'm gonna assume goes underneath behind it, goes underneath it, right behind it. And uh, yeah, that's, that's one thing about RC Arlo's. They make their body shells very, very intricate. But if, yeah, this goes behind it. So you'll have to, if you're going to use light buckets, which, uh, no, no light buckets. Nothing else in here. No, nothing else in there. So no light, no light buckets. RC Arlo's have to buy everything separate. <laughs> All the bar light buckets and stuff that all come 3D printed. That's why they're expensive, but they're 3D printed, right? Nice thick plastic tapes. So it looks like I'm gonna have to mask this and mask this. If the owner decides to put light buckets, they'll be clear. So I love the love the design on that. That is wow. The detail. I'll tell you the detail. The RC Arlo's puts on your their bodies. Look at the rear bumper. Look at that. That's so nice. I like what even has all these little. It's like I guess the sensors for you know reversing on like a real car on a stock car. That's just amazing. How does the rear one show? The rear shows. I'm cutting all of this 
Okay. And then this. Oh, this would just lay on top. Oh, okay. So that's perfect. This is simple enough. I just cut all this here. Cut this guy up here. And then this bumper here will be right on top. So that's pretty straightforward. But I'll bring you guys back when I have this cut out. So you guys can see exactly what I mean. Yeah. All right. Everything is uh, cut up, or the body is all cut up. And I retract my previous statement on how this is pretty easy, straightforward. It's it's really, really not. <laughs> really isn't. So the bumper is all cut up. It's all perfectly, as you can see. If you watch my previous videos, these this is all the extra. Oh, it's not focusing. It's not the actual plastic. It's the actual protective shield that's on top. That's what it looks like. That, as you can see. All right, and it's not uh yeah, so it's not it it it's 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 smooth I should say right pretty much, <laughs> and uh yeah, the rear bumper so I mean this is the hardest the hardest part was the front bumper as usual, so the rear bumper will go through here straight forward All right it's on there nice and clean All right it just goes on there pretty straightforward. This is what I've cut up, right? I hope you guys can see that, right? You need to cut that out, right? And the other part that's throwing me off is because there's light, the light buckets, or not light buckets, but the lights you can see are on the body here, right? But then you got the lights here. So what's throwing me off is, oh, what's throwing me off is, do I need to cut a certain light out or not? <laughs> so it's lined up here, as you can see. It's lined up there. I can't hold it perfect, but it's pretty much lined up there. Yeah, it's pretty much there lined up as you can see, right? I can't hold it with my fingers to line it up perfect, but as you can see the lights, they're pretty well lined up. Oh, over there they're lapping a little bit. Oh, yeah, see, can't, not perfect lined up because I'm not holding it. It's just sitting on there, but it's pretty good. All in all, the only thing that sucks is what I'm trying to figure out is because the it has the double, right? It has the the light here and the light here. Is which one do I cut out, or do I need to, or do I need to mask both? Which would be kind of weird, right? If you mask this one and then mask this one, if you think about it. But for the masking that you get, it doesn't come with double masking <laughs> to mask both of them so it only comes with one to mask one so that means one of them oh if i can open this so i'm just looking at it i got my side yeah my side windows there's my reverse lights right there i know you guys can't tell <laughs> the camera won't pick it up very small lines there's my other side this is my reverse, my, or sorry, my reverse, my back window. There's my front window. And there's my front, yeah, there's my front headlights there. And you only get one, yeah, you only get one and two. So that means only two of them will get masked. So it's either you mask these guys or you mask these guys. I know you guys are probably thinking, oh, check their website. I, I checked RCLO's website. It just shows the body already painted. But what it shows from what it painted, it looks like you cut off these ones here. You cut just the light. So you would follow this line here. Cut that out. So then this one would be behind it, right? So then it looks like the hood overlaps a little bit of the light, right? It almost looks like a, it gives it a 3D style look, right? Like, you know, like scale, right? That's my only option. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, but I don't know if I mentioned it, but this body is not mine. <laughs> this is a friend's body, right? So what I'm going to do is, just to play it safe, is I'm going to mask this guy with the ma with this masking. So I know it's it's on there, it's 100%, it's, it's done, it's good. And then I'm going to mask uh, this guy uh, with just regular tape that I can come up with. <laughs> If you get what I mean, 
So if you do end up getting Darcy Otto's body, this is all you get with it, right? It's just the body, these two guys, and uh, the masking. Oh, wrong side. The masking. <laughs> I got all the masking done, as you can see, on the front, both sides, <laughs> right of the of the car. I got the headlights there. And what I'm doing is, oh yeah, the rear lights are, you're gonna see it. There they are. Um, what I'm doing though is because I am doing, sorry, not I'm doing, because it has the, the double lights like this, right? I don't have another set of lights for uh, masking for this. What I'm doing, I'm just showing you guys this quickly, is this is this was the original one, so that one's already on the car. And what I did was I just cut this out here, right? And then put it on top. Oop, I'm missing my finger. I cut this part and put it on top of this guy. So what I'm going to do now with my knife or with my scissors, I'm just going to cut it so it matches perfectly the outline. And then I'm going to take that off and then put it on this guy, All right? So, yeah, little little tricks. All right, I'll bring you guys back when I guess when I have the... I don't know what I'll bring you guys back. I'll bring you guys back when I have something. <laughs> All, right. All right, so I'm just about to start painting. As you can see, I have it all masked off. Uh, if you're wondering why I have the green tape, is because, well, I ran out of my small tape, as you can see. I was using all this tape to mask everything else, and then I ran out. Because, uh, yeah, that's not included, but it's all good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so as you can see, that's where I have masked off. Uh, the owner wants the whole trunk uh, black, so it's all masked off. Right, the hood is going to be black, of course. Try not to touch underneath the body right now. And then there, yeah, perfect, the tape, I can grab this part. And then the hood, All right? So I did the yellow, as you can see, like the yellow masking tape, uh, the Tamiya uh, tape, right? And then just to be sure that I didn't have any gaps or anything, I backed it up with the green behind it, as just like that, just to make sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure I might have a hole somewhere, but at least this way, I know for sure, or at least I feel more confident knowing that you know, there shouldn't be any any leaks. Even though it's, I can easily clean it with my Timia paint remover, right? So it's not a problem for me, but it's just just uh, ease of mind. But yeah, so if I didn't mention, oh actually no, I haven't mentioned the, the color that's gonna go here, right? And on the, here, and the bumper, as you can see, they're all cut up, ready to go. It's gonna be this guy. PS54 Cobalt Green. I'm gonna do as I always done from my previous videos if you guys have seen them. If you guys really wanna see how I paint more, just make leave comments and I'll show the painting process. But it's literally I do a quick mist. I come back with another quick mist with a little extra. Then I do a nice thick one. And then I then usually by then I do one more thick just to fill in gaps and everything. And then I, I let it dry and cure and then I I back it up with whatever I'm back with black or white silver whatever it is this one that I'm doing the cobalt green I'm backing up with white PS1 white oh the price is still on there <laughs> that's Canadian by the way so <laughs> but uh yeah so that's what um I'll be backing up with and then obviously the black I'll be backing up with the uh, black right so the hood Sorry, the white I'll be blacking up. So after I paint the white, yes, I'll be backing up with black because I'm going to be painting the hood black. So the whole car will be black underneath. All right, so pretty straightforward. Those are the three colors. All right. Uh, so I will just bring you guys back when I have the car painted. But like I said, if you guys want to see, I guess, the painting process more, leave a comment down below. And the next body I'll paint, I will do, I will just show the, painting process i just don't think you guys didn't want to see that part but uh yeah all right i'll see you guys when um i'll bring you guys back when this is painted with the green and then i'll do the black here's the progress so far the paint has been sitting for about an hour and a half as you can see my masking pretty good right on point all right just a little cleaning here because i Gotta clean that up a little bit. Looks like the paint came up. I mean, so the paint, the tape came up. Uh, other than that, yeah. As you can see, pretty clean. Right. Like I 
go. So I used the whole can. So I used the whole can. So the can's empty now, right? It took uh, two light coats and then two heavy coats and then the third coat just to whatever. I So be careful. What is? The front bumper. Okay. We're recording, Manny. Yes, I am. Oh, oh, oh. 